In the chaos of war, when medical supplies ran out and infection meant almost certain death, soldiers and medics had to rely on whatever the battlefield could offer. One of the most remarkable discoveries from that era wasn't a secret serum or laboratory-made chemical. It was ash. Ordinary wood ash, when properly prepared, became a life-saving antiseptic, cleanser, and healing compound used across multiple fronts of World War II. It's a story of resourcefulness born out of desperation, and one that still holds lessons for anyone interested in survival, natural medicine, or forgotten history. When bandages and antiseptics ran out, Ash became the doctor. By 1942, medical supply lines in Europe, Africa, and the Pacific were stretched thin. Frontline medics often treated dozens of wounded soldiers with only a handful of gauze and a few drops of iodine. In those dire moments, they turned to local knowledge, methods used for centuries by villagers and indigenous healers. One such method involved mixing fine wood ash with water or animal fat to create a paste that could both clean and disinfect wounds. It might sound primitive, but this method wasn't superstition. It worked. Wood ash naturally contains potassium carbonate, calcium and trace elements with alkaline and antimicrobial properties. When applied to wounds, the mixture helped neutralize bacteria, dry out infection-prone areas, and even encourage clotting. In an age before antibiotics were readily available, this simple compound often meant the difference between a wound that healed and one that festered into gangrene. There are recorded cases of guerrilla fighters in Eastern Europe using ash poultices to treat shrapnel injuries. In the Pacific, stranded soldiers boiled coconut ash and mixed it with plant oils to disinfect cuts and burns. It wasn't glamorous medicine, but it was effective, and it kept men alive when everything else failed. The chemistry of how wood ash disinfects and protects wounds. The key to understanding why ash worked lies in its chemistry. When wood burns completely, what's left is mostly mineral residue, primarily potassium carbonate, calcium oxide, and magnesium oxide. These compounds are alkaline, meaning they create a hostile environment for bacteria, fungi, and parasites. In simple terms, they help kill infection-causing microorganisms. When ash was mixed with clean water, it formed a mild alkaline solution that could cleanse wounds and remove debris without stinging like alcohol. In some variations, soldiers combined ash with animal fat, creating a thick, soot-grey salve. The fat helped seal the wound and prevented the mixture from drying out too quickly, allowing the minerals in the ash to keep working beneath the surface. In field hospitals, when soap was unavailable, ash was also used to sterilize surgical instruments. By boiling them in an ash water solution, medics achieved a form of chemical sterilization that reduced infection rates. Even though the men who used these methods didn't have modern lab equipment, their understanding of practical chemistry was profound. How to recreate the World War II ash mixture safely for educational or survival purposes. While we're not suggesting anyone replace modern medicine with wartime improvisation, learning how to prepare this mixture can be an eye-opening historical exercise or, you know, a valuable survival skill. The process begins with selecting the right kind of ash. Hardwoods like oak, hickory or acacia produce clean, fine ash that's rich in potassium and low in toxic residues. Never use ash from treated wood, painted timber or coal as these contain harmful chemicals. Once you have clean wood ash, let it cool completely. Then sift it through a fine mesh to remove any charcoal chunks. The fine grey powder left behind 
is your base. For cleansing, you can mix one part ash to about five parts boiled and cooled water. Stir it and allow it to settle for 10 to 15 minutes. Then use the clear liquid on top as a gentle wash for dirty surfaces or tools. To make a healing paste similar to what was used in World War II field conditions, mix equal parts of fine ash and clean animal fat or vegetable oil until it forms a spreadable consistency. This paste was historically applied in thin layers over wounds, then covered with clean cloth or leaves. While modern antiseptics are far superior, this ancient method demonstrates how the principles of chemistry and hygiene can work together even without pharmaceuticals. One remarkable example comes from Soviet partisans in 1943. Cut off from supply lines deep in the forests of Belarus, field medics turned to ash from birch fires mixed with bear fat to treat frostbite and bullet wounds. The alkaline ash reduced infection, while the fat protected exposed flesh from freezing air. Many of those men credited the crude mixture with saving their limbs and their lives. Similarly, British troops in North Africa used fine palm ash mixed with oil to clean and pack wounds when iodine ran out. Reports from military medics noted that wounds treated this way often healed cleaner and faster than those left untreated or wrapped in dirty bandages. These field-tested methods show just how universal the practice became an improvised solution adopted by soldiers from vastly different environments and armies, all driven by the same need to survive. The story of the World War II ash mixture isn't just about survival, it's about knowledge. It teaches us that chemistry isn't locked in laboratories and that healing doesn't always come from bottles. When you understand the principles behind something as simple as ash, you begin to see how every element around you can serve a purpose. For preppers, survivalists and history enthusiasts, this knowledge bridges the gap between ancient remedies and modern science. Knowing how to purify, cleanse and protect with natural materials isn't just fascinating, it's empowering. Even in modern wilderness situations, the alkaline properties of clean ash can still be used to wash hands, clean tools, and disinfect minor cuts when no other options are available. In a world obsessed with technology, it's easy to forget that the simplest materials once saved countless lives. The World War II ash mixture stands as a symbol of human resilience. A reminder that even in the ruins of war, knowledge remained the greatest weapon against death. Soldiers didn't need laboratories. They needed understanding, courage, and a handful of Earth's raw ingredients. So if you're passionate about uncovering lost survival wisdom and forgotten wartime innovations, this is exactly the kind of history that deserves to live on. Try recreating the process for demonstration, study its chemistry, and appreciate the simplicity that once sustained an army. And if you found this story as fascinating as I did, don't forget to subscribe to In the Beginning and share it with others who value real history and practical survival knowledge. Because the next great discovery might not come from a lab, but from rediscovering what our ancestors already knew.